Hey, this is Mike with Snap Junk Removal. As part of my Start a Junk Removal business series, I want to talk to you about order minimums. So here is a job I got called out to quote and do, and it's not a very big pile of stuff, but I'm still happy about it, because even though I charge by volume, I've instituted higher order minimums than I used to do. So this little pile, all said and done, is maybe one, two, three, four cubic yards including these uh, the small amount of stones over here uh, when I first started doing junk removal I honestly I way underpriced my services I've, I've learned a few things since then I started off at $40 uh, order minimum and also had you know $25 a cubic yard is what I charged and then I worked my way up to 75 and then I bumped it up to 150 plus tax Back when I was charging less for these types of jobs, I would not be excited to do something like this uh, because I really wasn't making that much money. Uh, but nowadays, I'm, I'm pretty happy with the small minimum orders of 150 plus tax. Uh, I know some people in my area that would charge like $90 to do something like this as their order minimum at a $46 per ton dump fee. Uh, to compare what I'm doing to them, um, after considering all their basic expenses, let's call it like sixty dollars per job even if it's an order minimum after you pay your employees your truck your insurance your facilities your advertising costs to get the job in the first place and if you're doing heavy advertising sixty dollars in, in you know cost per job is actually pretty low uh, compared to them charging ninety dollars and having sixty dollars in cost uh, they're making thirty dollars profit or their company is at least uh, when I come out and do something like this and I'm charging hundred fifty uh, I have similar costs, but I'm charging way higher. So even though I might miss out on some jobs, I don't care because uh, at $60 in costs and I'm charging $150, i am making what, $50 plus $40, I'm making $90 profit, or my company is. And uh, compare that to them making $30 profit, well, I'm making triple the profit. So even if I get a third of the jobs they do, I don't care and I'm making uh, less wear and tear on my truck uh, so it's always good to order do uh, order minimums that way when you get small jobs uh, you don't even have to think about it it's just you know 150 or 200 or, or whatever you want to do so as you can see I have a trailer that already has a lot of stuff in it but I can still combine loads there's some hidden spaces in there I'll make it fit I might stick over the top a little bit but that's okay all right, so that didn't take too long, maybe 30 minutes uh, for one man. Two guys do it 15 minutes. Not bad for $150. And everything fit, I'll break that down here in a sec. All I'm gonna do is tarp up and then I'm out of here. One more thing before I go. I didn't see this until I was already on the job. I had quoted it before I did that. Uh, it's got a bunch of paint and some oil. I talked to the customer, I told him I couldn't haul it. Uh, you need special hazmat licensing to haul this stuff and dispose of it if you're doing it correctly. And that's a federal law, not a state law. So whenever you encounter things like this, like I said to this guy, I just said, uh, hey man, I saw this paint on the property. I'm sorry, I can't haul it. I need special licenses um, to be able to haul it and dispose of it. I'm sorry, you gotta take it to a county or city recycling center. There's some in the area. Is it all right if I leave it in the job? Are we gonna have any issues? And he said, no, no problem, I understand. And that's all you gotta do. Another thing worth mentioning, I do not like digging in the ground, like hand excavating stuff out, but sometimes you just got to do it. I just try to look at it as good exercise. That's, that's one of the benefits of this job. You never need to go to a gym. Right, so I made a statement near the beginning of this video that I feel like I should justify. I said your minimum expenses for a job are probably around $60, maybe more. Uh, let's talk about that for a second. So let's say you send two guys out to do a job, which is the way you should be doing. I was, I was working by myself today, whatever. So you send get two guys and they spend 30 minutes getting to a customer's house and then they do a job like I just did and it takes them 20 minutes total after tarping and untarping and getting situated and actually loading everything. Uh, and then they take 30 minutes to get to the next job. Okay, so that's an hour and 20 minutes. Uh, you might be able to fit three you know, small jobs into the same load uh, and then you've got to go dump it, right? If you're lucky. So you might have them take 30 minutes at the landfill depending on how busy it is and how far it 
the way it is and it takes them to get there. So let's prorate that divided by three. So that's another 10 minutes. So you're at an uh, hour and a half to do this small job. Um, so in labor alone, that's an hour and a half times two people. Uh, that's uh, three hours at uh, three hours at fifteen dollars an hour. So that's that's forty five dollars just in labor expenses that you paid uh, your workers to to go do this job. And then you've got your dump fees to contend with. Uh, this job I just did might have weighed like four hundred pounds. Just a, a guess. I'm pretty good at that actually. Uh, and I pay 46 a ton. You probably pay more. Texas is pretty cheap. Uh, so 2,000 divided by 400 is five. Uh, 46 dollars a ton divided by five is, is about nine dollars. Uh, let's just call it 10 for simplicity, simplicity sake. So you're at 45 for labor plus another 10 for the uh, prorated dump fee. Then you've got to consider gas. Uh, let's say you're 30 miles round trip including there and back and to the landfill kind of all included uh, Your truck I'm guessing is probably getting about 10 miles to a gallon once you're you're hauling a trailer uh, So what does that come out to be? That's that's three gallons at about 220 per gallon something like that uh, Let's just call it seven dollars. All right, so you're at 55 plus another seven is uh, $62 okay and there's still more expenses you've got to consider in uh, what you're paying for your truck uh, lease or you know the paying the note on it plus your hefty commercial insurance that you're paying so let's say you're out a thousand dollars a month for your your truck well you, maybe you're doing uh, 80 jobs a month uh, if you're lucky so you know for a day uh, six days a week because you like to work a lot and you don't just do the five uh, day a week uh, work week So rather than trying to do that math of a thousand dollars divided by 80 jobs uh, a month uh, Let's just round up and say you're doing a hundred jobs a month, right? Well uh, a Thousand divided by a hundred is ten. So your prorated, you know truck Plus insurance expense for each job is about 10 bucks. It's actually a little more, but I'm just playing conservative here. So you're $62 plus another $10. Uh, that's $72, and uh, you could still consider your your rent, and that's not even considering uh, customer acquisition costs. Uh, a lot of people with Google AdWords, they're they're char they're getting they're paying. Uh, anywhere between like three and six or seven dollars a click and it might take them ten clicks just to get a customer uh, via Google AdWords and then obviously you have repeat customers and, and SEO which doesn't cost as much uh, so but let's say your customer acquisition fee if you're doing AdWords is, is maybe 50 bucks well if if you're not charging enough you're actually losing money if you're not charging like 150 bucks or more uh, so just keep that in mind when you're doing order minimums even if you paid fifty dollars to get that customer and you're consider the other costs like the seventy two dollars that i was talking about when you're at uh 122 uh if you send out a truck and only charge 125 bucks you're breaking even it's, it's there's no point um so even if you do a bunch of those jobs like maybe you can get it lined up to where your expenses go down a little bit but if it's not worth doing on a small scale, like why would you want to scale that up and do it on a big scale? So I say, uh, if you actually want to make some money, you need to be charging $150 and up. And so don't shortchange yourself and don't hide your head in the sand thinking, oh, I don't have all these expenses. Yeah, you do. And if you don't, uh, you're never going to grow because you haven't accounted for those expenses. So even though there might be people in your market that will do it for less or even haul stuff for free, it doesn't matter it's not uh, I heard a saying before it was really good it's not what the market will bear is it can you bear the market it, who cares what these other people charge because you're not actually providing a commodity like uh, gasoline or milk uh, you're providing a specialized service that has to be individualized to every customer's house you go uh, so you need to learn to charge more to do that otherwise you're never going to grow or get bigger or make money